NTA, National Testing Agency, has announced the results of JE main exams, which happened in the month of Jan 2020. When the results got announced, people were so confused because in the scorecard, it was written NTA score. Now, what in the world is this NTA score? Because they have heard about percentage score, marks, but what is NTA score? NTA score is nothing other than percentile score. So you need to have a clarity on what exactly percentile is. Before talking about percentile, let's understand what percentage is. If there is an examination which has got a total marks of 100 and you have scored 90 in that exam, that means you have scored 90 percentage marks. But if there is an exam of 100 marks and you have scored 90, but there is no one else who has scored more than 90 marks in that particular exam, then your score, the percentile score is 100. Got the difference? Basically, percentile score is a scoring wherein they are comparing your score with the other people who have written the same examination. And it's a comparison score. So if you have got 90 percentile in an examination, that means you have topped than 90% of the students who have written that examination or 10% of students are ahead of you in that examination. Now the big question is, how is percentile score calculated? In the NTA scorecard itself, they have clearly mentioned the formula for calculating the percentile score or the NTA score, which is mentioned here. But when you see this formula, you'll again get confused. What is this? Now let's apply some numbers and see how percentile score is calculated. For example, if there is an exam which has a total mark of 300, same like JE, and someone has scored 280 marks, 280, and let that be the top score of the examination. So now you have the total marks, the highest score, or your score. Let your score be the highest score, which is 280. Now we also need to know how many students have appeared the examination in that particular session. Now what is session? Because in the JE examination, it happened in six different shifts and all together in six different shifts, we had 8,69,010 students who wrote the examination. We need to understand how many students had written the examination in one single shift, which is an unknown number in the case of JE examination. But for the better understanding of the formula, let me consider the number to be 500. Is it clear? So according to the formula, we need to know how many of them have scored less than you in the examination. Since your score is the highest score, obviously 499 children would have scored less than you, right? Plus, it also needs to calculate the number of children who have got your equal score. So that is you. So that means one has to be added to 499 that makes it 500. So 500 divided by the number of children who wrote the examination in that particular session. If that number is 500, then it is 500 divided by 500 multiplied by 100, which makes the answer to be 100. So if your score is 280 and none others have scored more than 280, then your percentile score would be 100. There are different factors that will affect your percentile score. The first one being your raw score. The raw score is nothing other than the total marks that you have scored for the examination. The second thing is the quality of paper. What I meant by the quality of paper is the difficulty level of that particular question paper. The third thing is the performance of other students who have written examination in your same session. Even though two children have got the same marks in two different sessions, still your percentile score can differ, right? See, for example, in session one, 
you have scored a total of 90 marks i'm not talking about percentile i'm just telling the marks 90 marks okay and in the second session somebody scored 90 marks but still when the percentile came out your percentile score was 95 and the other person's percentile score was 98 even though the marks were same now how did this happen because in your session the people who wrote the examination along with you did not perform as the children who performed in session two that's how it happens so that can also affect your percentile score a lot of people have asked me this question have i qualified for je advance or not now this is not an answer that i can give you blindly just like that because a lot of factors come into play in this thing according to nta there are two examinations that happens in every year that is jan exam and april exam and the score is going to be based on best of two now only one exam has got over so with the just one exam how can we say that the person has qualified or not qualified but still calculating the previous year cutoffs and based on various other factors we can come to an assumption again i'm telling you this is not a hundred percent confirmed thing but still based on a lot of factors based on how the children have performed previous year and what was the cut of previous year we can come to an assumption on how much score will help you to write je advanced the cutoff required for different categories are different for je now what are the different categories the first one is the general category second comes general ews that is general economic vehicle session then comes obc sc st and then pwd category so these are the different categories and for each category the score and the cutoff is gonna be different last year that is 2019 the cutoff for general was 89.75 so this year we expect that those students who have scored 90 percentile for this examination that is january examination for you it is like 100 percent sure that you can get for je advanced but those who have scored between 87.543 and 90 there are ch chances i would say that you people are on a safe zone but it's not like 100 percent confirmed then comes general ews 79 is sure 79 and 76.72 if your score is between these numbers then again there are chances if it is obc category 75 is sure 72.345 and 75 safe zone sc 53 sure 51.32 and 53 there are chances st category 45 is gonna be 100 percent sure between 41.43 and 45 still safer zone pwd category if you scored about 0 0.32 then you are in the safer zone How to calculate your JE rank from the percentile score or the NTA score which is mentioned in your scorecard. There is a formula for calculating that which is mentioned here. If you apply numbers in this, you will get your tentative rank. It is tentative rank. It's not like confirmed or like 100% this is not going to be your rank. It can change but still you will get a tentative idea. For example, if you have scored 97 percentile for your JE exams, then your rank is going to be something like 26,070. If you ask me whether 26,070 is going to be the exact rank, I don't know. I cannot confirm. But I can tell you one thing 100% confirmably, which is like your rank is going to be somewhere between 25,000 and 28,000. That's it. There are nine children who topped JE examination this year. If you check internet, you'll find their interviews. And in all their interviews, you'll find two things to be in common. One is hard work and the second thing is planning. Any examination like JE requires hard work and planning. If you have not scored your desired marks or your expected marks for JE 2020 exam January, don't worry, don't lose your heart. This is not the end of the world. Come on. 
you can write your examination in the month of april and if in april you are not able to score well again there are chances so you don't have to worry at all but for a child who is preparing for this sort of an examination there are certain things that you have to take care being in this industry for so many years in the coaching industry training children for different types of entrance examinations let me tell you one thing writing a mock test is very very important very important because like an examination like je is online exam so you have to have a proper preparation in online mode before appearing this examination in real got it the second thing is preparation when you prepare for this exam don't think that the day before the exam i will sit prepare just go and write the exam or let me finish the public exam go for a 10 day coaching or a 3 day coaching and then go for je exam and write it i will crack it no this is not going to work the entire two years of your grade 11 and grade 12 you have to prepare with focus focus is very important from next year that is from the year 2021 hope you know that sat exam is not there for getting dasa quota seats i am in dubai so i know that a lot of children prepare for sat exam saying that okay let me get through the dasa quota to some of the reputed institutes in india i need not write je examination see from next year that's from the year 2021 you cannot get a dasa quota seat through sat exam you have to write je exam but not je advance is just je main so those children who are in grade 10 right now and grade 11 right now and if you are an nri please start your preparations for je examination je main score is taken into consideration for dasa quota admissions and another thing is you have to have a thorough understanding about your basics and concepts the questions are going to be analytical question it's not like your public examination where they'll ask a question you have to write answer in paragraphs no there is a question means like you have to read you have to understand it you have to analyze it properly within few minutes this thing has to go into your mind from which concept or from which chapter they are asking this question which formula is to be applied and then come to the right answer this needs much of practice as well as understanding about the concepts the basic concepts so please make your concepts thorough before appearing any of this entrance examinations before winding up this video let me also give you an idea about the new pattern of je examination because the pattern has changed from this year so those children who are watching my video and is going to write the examination next time this is going to be beneficial for you for je paper 1 there are three subjects physics chemistry and mathematics and from each subject there will be 25 questions that means a total of 75 questions and 25 questions from each subject out of which 20 questions are going to be mcq which is multiple choice questions you have options to find the answer from and five questions are nvt nvt is numerical value test So in this numerical value type questions there will not be any options but the answer is going to be a number there are a lot of children who comes to my office which is located in dubai for writing mock test so first time when they sit in front of a system for writing mock test in the actual online pattern they get a lot confused now imagine this children going to write the examination in real without knowing the online pattern it's going to be terrible So don't get into things like that. Please write a mock test and get an idea about the pattern and this will also help you in managing the time wisely. Good luck. <laughs>